Hello and welcome to this reflection and meditation with me, James. Today we have another audio recording and another poem. This poem is one that's really stayed with me ever since I first read it. And it's something that I come back to often as a way of reminding me what's really important. And in a way, it's something that I think when I teach yoga or when I meet somebody I really care about. And it's almost what I would want to say to people sometimes without sounding weird or reciting a poem. And this poem is called The Invitation by Araya Mountain Dreamer, a Native American elder who writes with the most beautiful language, often evoking the environment, the natural world. And the invitation, I think, is asking us what's really important and almost saying what really matters. So I'm going to read this poem and you need to find a comfortable seat, but of course you can always move if you feel you need to when you're listening. You could have your eyes open or closed. And the way that the poem ends is a really nice lead into a silent meditation for a short while. I'm reading a shortened version of the poem, but I will post a full version of the text below this video. The Invitation It doesn't interest me what you do for a living. I want to know what you ache for and if you dare to dream of meeting your heart's longing. It doesn't interest me how old you are. I want to know if you will risk looking like a fool for love, for your dream, for the adventure of being alive. It doesn't interest me what planets are squaring with your moon. I want to know if you have touched the centre of your own sorrow, if you have been opened by life's betrayals or have become shriveled and closed from fear of further pain. I want to know if you can sit with pain, mine or your own, without moving to hide it or fade it or fix it. I want to know if you can be with joy, mine or your own, if you can dance with wildness and let the ecstasy fill you to the tips of your fingers and toes without cautioning us to be careful, to be realistic to remember the limitations of being human. It doesn't interest me who you know or how you came to be here. I want to know if you will stand in the centre of the fire with me and not shrink back. It doesn't interest me where or what or with whom you have studied. I want to know what sustains you from the inside when all else falls away. I want to know if you can be alone with yourself and if you truly like the company you keep in the empty moments.
Now start to become more aware of your breath. Maybe you can observe the rise of your inhale and the fall of the exhale. And start to deepen the breath and start making a few little movements. So maybe it's your fingers or your toes. Maybe you move your head a little bit. And if your eyes are closed, just gently blink them open. You could take a big breath in. Open the mouth and sigh. One more like this, inhale. And exhale. And whatever company you found you kept during that empty moment today, notice how you felt. And maybe you didn't feel at ease, but maybe you're willing to come back to noticing the company that you keep, finding some empty moments and taking some of these practices. Thank you for sharing your time and your practice with me.